Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nyjia. And in today's video, we are going to be putting my apartment together piece by piece. I have told you in my previous video, I think like two weeks ago, a week ago, all of my furniture was coming through. I'm really excited because the background looks a little bit different now and I'm absolutely obsessed with this mirror because well, it makes the space look so much bigger, especially in a studio apartment. This is technically my bedroom. People were under the assumption when they first watched my YouTube videos that I was sitting in like a living room area space. My friends asked like, can I see your living room? And this is the bedroom. I don't know if you can see kind of like situation. And then um, living rooms right over in the corner. I did want to talk about the struggles of having your apartment furnished because I genuinely believe this is not something that is spoken about often on YouTube, especially during this time on social media where everything's like this huge flex culture. To decorate your apartment, it's a lot of sacrifice. You kind of just need to start cutting out a lot of the things you like to do. Like sometimes you have to cut that out if you want to have a mattress. We're going to talk about my mattress because like, <laughs> The first three months of me living in this apartment, I slept on an air mattress, like a double sized air mattress because I knew that I didn't wanna get a really crappy mattress, have it in my studio apartment, then by the time I move out, it's like run down or it's just super uncomfortable and then I have to buy a new mattress. My back was a brock out, like, who the pain. And like, it was just so loud. Every time I moved, it was just like crunching and crinkling. So I ended up getting a good mattress. And even right now, my mattress is on the floor. I think it's kind of cute, but I don't have a bed frame because the bed frame that I want to buy, I want to actually invest in it. Wanted to make a little intro because that's what people on YouTube do. I don't know. In today's video, we're going to be doing the first touches of the studio space. And then I'm going to have a separate video for when I redecorate my bathroom and then when I redecorate my kitchen. I specifically got this apartment for the details. Anyways, I have these curtains that are going to be going up on these like big three windows. I got these from Ikea. They are the Lenda curtains. They are not semi-sheer, like semi sun resistant so you'll still see the sun peeking through but it's going to make this space a lot warmer even though it's like really warm in this apartment but I get cold quickly so I have two of those and then my other curtain that I have for my kitchen is this lace Ikea curtain Alvin Spets Spets and this is definitely sheer. I think it's gonna look beautiful when I start adding the little touches into my kitchen, but that's for a later date. I did wanna say that this duvet cover set is the Super Soft Microfiber Queen 2, uh, one duvet cover, two pillow shams. This was on sale for $40, and this was on sale for $30, and if y'all know, some of the prices of duvet covers and like bed sheets. Chow, and this really is like super soft. I have to throw it in the wash for sure. I was gonna, I was gonna be like, is this one soft? But this one feels soft when I open it. And Wayfair has really good prices. They don't charge taxes. The only complaint I have with Wayfair is all of my deliveries were on the bottom floor and I had to bring all of this up. Like luckily, I there were two men in the apartment building I was in and they just like lifted it up, carried it. They were like, are you okay? Cause they could see the fear in my eyes when I saw that this was delivered on the bottom floor and it's over like a hundred pounds. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's kind of like what I have for anything to do with sheets. That's what I have at the moment. My curtains are gonna be like the very last thing to go up. The next thing that arrived, it is the rug from Wayfair. Oh yes, this is perfect, the size of this. 
heard this trick that if you want to divide up the spaces in your house, do that with carpets and rugs. It will help you do the trick and really make a certain section of your space its own corner rather than only having one rug. It kind of like, well, having one rug in one big space studio space apparently makes the space look awkward. This is the faux birds of paradise plant that I see like on a lot of TikTok videos, a lot of influencer homes. They have this fake plant, which I'm not the biggest fan of fake, fake plants. Um, all of my plants are real. I've never had a fake plant before. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that difficult to own. But I'm wondering if this actually looks real because everybody's been going off about how real this Birds of Paradise look. And I want my entire apartment to be filled with plants, but there's certain plants that don't thrive in Canada, which is not surprising. But Birds of Paradise has been one plant that I've had some difficulty taking care of. In my bathroom, I'm gonna have some fake plants as well because there's no light in my bathroom. That was actually kind of difficult to take out of the box. They really struck it in there. This is the bottom of the plant. It just looks like hella fake, which is okay. It's really stuck in there. The leaves can come out of the little stems. I got an arch mirror because I thought it would be a really cute contrast against the wall molding. This is what I meant by two spaces. So, couch behind the bed, this little console that was supposed to be a desk by the window, and then I'm gonna have like a little bookshelf. I'm gonna end up hanging that mirror, and then this chair that I got from Cuba, the macrame chair. Adhesive that doesn't ruin walls or paint. Of course, hanging a chair behind a door is not smart, but um, yeah, this is just an aesthetic right now. I said I was gonna hang up my curtains, but I have to hire someone for that. So they're gonna have like three things to do. The shelf, curtains, and mirror. This spray painted mirror came out so perfect. And it only took two coats. Pictures of the fam, as well as Frank Ocean, and some candles to keep the place smelling real good. It's really simple and it's really small, but I like it a lot. So this is the new apartment vibes. Um, I'm really excited. It's very cozy. <laughs> it's very chill, but not this little corner over there that's not that cozy. <laughs> But when I get a couch and things like that, it'll be a lot cozier. I don't know when I'm gonna get a couch though because decorating your apartment is just, I feel like I've said this like five times, but it is so expensive. Like I think for someone to live comfortably, we shouldn't have to like break our backs at work or just work so much overtime to get that done. 
I think like even just having a bed frame, there's a part of me that's like, damn, <laughs> that's like $500. A couch in that corner, another 500, 400, like cheapest, unless I buy it used, but then there's like potential of bed bugs or like little like dust bunnies. I don't know what you call them, but you know what I'm talking about, like mites and stuff like that. So I'm not trying to buy someone else's couch right now. Um, I promise myself like a couch and a mattress are going to be things that I buy on my own because I don't want anything happening to them and then a table so I still got a good chunk of my paycheck coming out to this apartment which is kind of sad because for humans to live like this is kind of crazy and I've tried to do things in the most cost-effective way that I could possibly do that so basically, like my apartment tour is going to keep coming through where it's gonna start looking cozier and cozier and a lot better. And by the end of my lease, it's going to be like definitely lived in. Um, and then for my next apartment, I'll be able to start somewhere rather than starting at zero with a literal air mattress on the ground. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, show me love, and I will see you in my next video.